Yes. You could spoil their bowl trip. How much motivation is all of that for the players? Thinking back to last year and then, you know, we'll give it back to them right now. Well, I, I think it's part of it. I don't think this is a revenge game. You know, I don't, I don't think of it along those lines. And when you look at the first half where it was, I believe it was 2017 at halftime and then really got away from us the second half, I think more than anything else, it's an opportunity to redeem uh, ourselves more than it is revenge just to, you know, they beat us last year, so we're going to take a bowl game away from them this year. I don't think it's revenge, but I do think redemption is definitely part of the equation this week uh, to prove what type of football team we really have here. I know we've talked about a lot of close games that we've come up short with. We're a little bit different than we were at the middle of the year. And a lot of these young players now have a couple starts under their belt. and They have an opportunity to go out and show everybody just how good of a football team this team can be. Injuries have forced a lot of younger guys on the offensive line into, into more playing time. What, what kind of advantage does that give you moving forward? Well, we talked about one of the advantages to going to a bowl game is, is when you have all those seniors that are playing for you and then they walk out the door, it gives you an opportunity to take those 15 practices and take those young men and start them to get ready for next year. I think the word that has been used uh, with the young players right now is battle tested. You know, they have had the opportunity to get out there and play. And it's amazing the energy, the excitement, the enthusiasm in those young guys right now as they are getting a chance to play. So many times a freshman is redshirted and he sits back and says, well, when I get my opportunity next year, well, many of these guys uh, are getting their opportunities right now. Uh, and the Tayshaun Whitehurst and the Sean Prices and the Mario Montgomery's and the Matt Floyds and a lot of those guys that are playing a prominent role, Ken Durden, uh, right now on our football team, I think they're starting to get their feet wet. And I've said this all along. When you're young, you just want to play. Uh, after you play, then you want to start. Once you start, you say, what do we got to do to win? I think right now these young players started playing early. Uh, now they're having an opportunity to start because of many of the injuries that have got a, gone along the way. And I think that excitement and that energy and that enthusiasm on this team right now is in large part due to the enthusiasm of those young guys and what they have to do to win. And that's why I think right now this team is taking a huge wave of emotion into the off season from a positive standpoint because this is our 15 days of bowl practice, but we're not only getting to practice these young guys, they're getting the opportunity to get game reps. Skip, from a momentum standpoint, I mean, this is about the seniors this week, but yes. but in terms of, of what they take from this season, how much more valuable can a win be just in terms of bettering the atmosphere around the team and the program? Without a doubt. And I think sending these seniors out on a positive note, as much adversity as we have been through here in the last two years and as hard as they have worked and to go out every week and play as hard as they play, and to continue to fall, just fall short, just fall short, just fall short. I think those frustrations, yes, a win would go a long way in trying to erase a lot of those frustrations and give these seniors the opportunity to walk out with a really positive taste in their mouth. And the one, I keep saying this, one thing this, this senior group will not do is quit. I mean, they, they keep, uh, I've really been impressed um, just the way that they go out and practice. Now we've got to carry that over into the game to find a way to get a win. I know it's been frustrating for everybody involved, uh, players, administration, coaches, fan base, everybody, um, and that's why I think it would go a long way to get a win this week against Pitt. Uh, with players like Davis and Puppick and uh, Landy coming back from injury, is it time to sort of open up the offense a little more and try and get into the end zone with a little more urgency? Well, We've been trying to get in the end zone, believe it or not. Um, it certainly hasn't shown, but we've been trying to do it. Just like I said, you've got, I think we've had nine drops the last two weeks. You're playing some young players. And what the problem with playing young players is not talent. The problem is consistency. And there have been some plays and some flashes where you go, ooh, I like, I like that. He's really going to be good. But it's the very next play where he steps under and crosses his feet and gets beat inside and you lose three. And it's hard to get anything consistently consistently moving forward. But, yes, having uh, Evan Landy back, I don't know if, if Hopkins is going to be back. He practiced a little bit today. Uh, he's going to be I mean, he's going to be questionable right now after practice. Hoping we can get getting an Andre Davis back healthy and DeVario back healthy, I think certainly, certainly helps a young quarterback uh, coming along. But uh, that is the goal is to try and get into the end zone. And that's one of the things that we got to continue to try and do. And I think last week one of the things that really – has hurt us offensively when you look at not just yards, but the field position, uh, the, lack of, the lack of turnovers, which gives you the short field. 
but to have to drive, I think the average starting point for our offense last week was the 18-yard line, where you've got to have an 82-yard drive if you want to put the ball into the end zone. And I think that's hard uh, because of the consistency, the lack of consistency with some younger players, uh, and also the lack of big plays, which was certainly evident last week as well. And those are two things that we've got to do a better job of, and that's why we're out there practicing, trying to create some big plays, uh, but also trying to build more consistency as an offense because you'd love to be able to take it and drive it right down the field and be able to put it into the end zone. And that's definitely one of the sense of urgencies, as you said, that, that we're well aware of.